This is Gare Woods, one of the most significant woodland creation projects in the north of England. Created by the University of Leeds and the United Bank of Carbon, it's part of the White Rose Forest Initiative that aims to increase tree cover across Yorkshire. The White Rose Forest is one of England's community forests working over North and West Yorkshire to increase the amount of woodland creation. Gare Wood is made up of more than 66,000 new trees planted across a 36 hectare site, but it's also much more than that. It's a living lab that brings together researchers from across disciplines to help solve some of the biggest challenge around tree planting projects and climate change. And it's also a huge outdoor classroom for students to learn in real time, right on their doorstep. As the trees planted here grow, they'll provide an increasingly complex and diverse haven for wildlife in North Leeds, provide new public access to green space local to the city, and they'll capture carbon in their branches and the soil to help tackle climate change. A key part of the research we're going to be doing here at Gare Wood has required a huge experimental planting that we've embedded within the design. We've planted grids of specific combinations of tree species at different parts of the site. We had over 300 volunteers come down to the site and give up their time to help us with the tree planting. We're going to use this big experiment to explore the way that different combinations of tree species planted in different densities are going to interact with one another as they grow and how they will affect the remainder of the site around them. The site provides a living lab for biodiversity where we can really explore some of the challenges we're going to face around trying to improve nature and improve wildlife and also understanding the connection between people and the way they engage with those spaces so that they can really invest in outdoor spaces and in nature but also so that we can uh, look for opportunities to look at where that links with the research. So not only are our academics looking at the big climate challenges that we're going to face but also on a very local level the way that we impact on key species in an area, the way that we can better manage that relationship between people and the natural environment. As well as using the site for research, we've also been able to harness the expertise of colleagues at the university to help inform the site design. So we've been able to test the type and depth of the soil, we've been able to look at the nutrient regime, look at the species that are here already, and use that to design a native broadleaf woodland that's hopefully going to be uh, climatically resilient in the years to come. When you're designing a woodland like this, you have to think ahead to decades from now to how this woodland might look and feel. We've planted over 60,000 trees this winter. These are all regionally appropriate, mainly broadleaf tree species. So we've got lots of oak, we've got alder, we've got lime, we've got things like silver birch. We've also got hawthorn, rowans, hazel, and lots of other trees that you'd expect to find in this part of the world. And the aim of all this in the design is to maximise the biodiversity to meet the aims to make sure that when we allow public access it isn't at the cost of the biodiversity ambitions. Although Garewood was designed with biodiversity very much at the front of our minds, it's also an important part of the university's climate plan. That means we're able to use it not just to sequester carbon by growing these trees but also in research about carbon and delivering a sustainable curriculum. Garewood is a fantastic opportunity for students to engage practically with the natural environment and the site is located quite close to the university so it's easy for them to get up here to do both their independent research projects but also for field trips for modules and, and other talk content. So far on site we've had quite a lot of students up here that have been able to do ecological surveys and that includes sampling the soil, looking at the biodiversity bits here including small mammals and over time we're hoping to have more of these surveys carried out including monitoring how the trees that we've planted this year are changing over time. It's great to see Garewood finish today. It's been a really long process for the university. They've worked with the Woodland Creation Planning Grant, but also trying to make it more biodiverse in the way they've designed all the woodland compartments. Every single species has been in a particular place for a particular reason, and that's really important for woodland creation. One of the wonderful benefits of Garewood is that it provides students with a practical opportunity to, to make a change to help mitigate climate change and to help with the biodiversity crisis. And this is a really key part of engaging students with the climate plan at the University of Leeds. Thank you.